Here's my 2 meter 70 centimeter go box. We've got a Beoji 25 watt mobile radio in there. It runs off of uh, external DeWalt batteries. Uh, you can toss any size of DeWalt battery on there you want. Uh, how I put this thing together is I had it inside of one of these Harbor Freight little cases, uh, similar to a Pelican case, but just uh, a lot cheaper, around 15 bucks. Uh, so inside of here, I mounted the radio, just pop riveted it down to the bottom of the box. And then all my electronics are here behind this angle bent piece of Kydex. The piece of Kydex has a lip over on the side and it's pop riveted in so you can rotate it up. All we have in here is uh, our uh, three printed uh, battery terminal, which uh, you can find the files on uh, Thingiverse. You'll easily just search for DeWalt battery uh, connector or uh, whatever type of brand battery you have. So I have my two leads running out of there. That goes into this buck converter right here, a variable buck converter. They're only like seven bucks. Just make sure you get one with a uh, high enough amperage to get the watts you want. Uh, so that comes in. I bring it down to 13.8 volts, which is what uh, this radio calls for. Uh, from from there, I have uh, a couple switches. This first switch is the kill switch for the power to the entire unit. That way, you don't have to worry about parasitic drain or anything like that whenever you're not using it. And the second switch just turns on or off our little voltage display here. If you uh, aren't using it or you don't want to look at it, you have the option to turn it off if you want to. Uh, it also has a couple uh, little USB ports that have the 5 volt for, you know, charging whatever other uh, items you might have, your phone or whatever. Um, but you can turn it off without killing power to the radio itself. Uh, this is quite a bit bulkier than, like, uh, your, you know, HT, so some people might think, like, oh, why do I want to have a 2 meter, 70 centimeter box like this when it's so much bulkier that I can just use my little handheld. Um, the main thing is, is you have the option of using 25 watts versus handhelds normally max out, max out around 8 or so, um, which isn't, uh, which, you know, power isn't everything. You need to worry more about your antenna and uh, how high you can get it off the ground than uh, how much power you can push out but sometimes it does help to have just that little bit of extra power. Uh, case in point right here, uh, these guys that are on this repeater right now, I was talking to them a few minutes ago, and uh, whenever I was running low power on this, I wasn't able to get through. Uh, low power on this is uh, eight watts, I believe. Uh, medium power, no good either, but whenever I bumped it up to the whole 25, I was able to push through, and they said I had a little bit of noise in the background, but, uh, I was still getting through to them, they could understand what I was saying. Uh, this repeater is about uh, 40 miles away, so so that's pretty good for uh, 2 meters. But uh, for the whole unit, the wiring isn't really that complicated. Uh, just kind of think your way through it, um, whatever makes sense. Uh, I've got a pigtail coming off the back of the radio that runs to a surface mount, uh, SO239, which I have mounted to that piece of Kydex right there. So you can see I can attach whatever antenna I want there. Obviously you can put whatever connector you want, but uh, I like the SO239 because that's what I have on the end of my uh, my Slim Jim. Although this is just a, a big piece of coax that has the end of it on there. But anyways, yeah, these uh, variable butt converters, you can, uh, internal screw in here and it brings the voltage up or down so you can really tweak it to be right where you want it. Um, uh, added this little display in here. Nice thing about that is I can tell whenever my battery is starting to get low. Uh, with the DeWalt battery you can't really tell what the drain is. Uh, it doesn't drop voltage throughout the entire use of it. It stays right at 13.8 until the battery is nearly dead like the last 15% or so then you can see it start dropping. So whenever I see that start dropping, these bars also, as well as with the voltage, I know that I probably have like 20 minutes left, something like that. Um, I'm not exactly sure uh, how long this uh, 3 amp hour battery will last if you're uh, constantly transmitting. Um, I've tested it just leaving it on and receiving with like a few transmissions throughout the day. It'll last about 9 hours or so. So it lasts a pretty long time, but that's with a very limited use, mostly just listening. But um, 
anyways, I think it's pretty handy. You can always have a bunch of these DeWalt batteries set around and all you have to do is uh, pull them out and swap them just like you would on your drill. Uh, and you can pull the battery off. You can pull the battery off, grab a new one, slap it back in, and uh, you're ready to go. But the files for this are really easy to find on Thingiverse. All this is the socket, and uh, you have to put a couple of your little uh, brass uh, terminals in there. That's just uh, a couple pieces of brass sheeting that you cut the size, push through from the back side, and you solder your wires through onto those. But I've had quite a bit of fun with this guy, and it seems to give you a little bit of extra range and a little bit uh, better operation time. Plus, you know, sometimes the mold radius have a few more features than the uh, handhelds do. Uh, kind of a fun idea. I'm sure you could uh, put like a QRP rig or something in, inside of the same size box or the same power supply uh, method right here. So so the, the box overall, I'm sure you could toss a, a ton of different radios inside of here. But anyways, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. It, it's been pretty fun. Um, the only other thing I did to this was I added a, a little pouch. I made a little pouch that Velcroed up into the lid right here. I hold my uh, charger, my manual, and uh, a few uh, adapters and stuff. But yeah, there you go.